When it comes to getting a polished and finessed vocal sound, taking the time to adjust levels, manually de-s, and de-breath the vocal performance can make a big difference. Let's take a look at how easy this is to do in Revoice Pro. I've got a vocal performance over here. Let's have a listen against the instrumental just for some context. Not touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Get better, do it all again. Okay, so a decent performance, a little heavy on the S's. So with this region selected, I'm going to click W. This will turn this into a warp region. This gives us access to the timing and tuning abilities within Revoice Pro. Now I'm gonna solo this out for a moment and let's go full screen. Now we've already covered tuning in another video, so if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do so. But what I wanna focus on here is take a look at these areas in aqua blue. These represent anything that is an unpitched voicing. And this is one of the things that really sets Revoice Pro apart from the competition is in its ability to ignore things that should not be tuned. Things like breaths and S's and any harsh consonants that we have in a vocal track. Just really quickly, if I wanted to, for example, select this, I could quantize this to 100% tuning and notice that none of these areas have been touched in terms of the tuning. But more on that in another video. So let's go back to what we were talking about here. I'm going to click the S key and notice that we have this energy trace. Now I can adjust this view either by this slider and I can also change the vertical resolution if I want. I'm gonna zoom this in so it's a little bit more easier for me to work with. Now if we focus our attention really closely, we can see that we have two different shades. One of them is a pink and one of them is more of a purple. So anything that you see in pink, that would represent something that's an unpitched voicing. In this case, it could be an S or a breath or something like that. Now I can simply click, hold and drag to turn this down or up. And another thing that I can do is I can hold down the alter option key and it's going to snap in 3 dB increments. So for example here, I'm just gonna come in and even just visually without even listening, I can attack some of these S's and bring them down. Let's move on and we have this breath over here. So perhaps I'll bring that down 6 dB and let's zoom out and have a listen. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Not touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Get ready to do it all again. Okay, another area that we can do here as well is this isn't just limited to consonants and breaths and sibilants. If we wanna actually turn something down, like a phrase, we have this word here, let's have a listen. Do it all. That's a little bit loud compared to everything else. If I zoom out, I can see even on the waveforms. Oh. I'm just gonna drag this down a little bit so that it lines up a little bit better with everything. And in fact, I think this word happens to be a little bit loud as well. Let's grab everything here. Uh and let's bring it all down. And this, we're gonna bring that down a little bit. And let's have a listen to this final result. Not touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Get ready to do it all again. Okay, bypassed. Not touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Okay, so much better, much smoother. Not touching hand in hand, sun carries us across the sand. Get ready to do it all again and it sits better in the track. So that's manual de-essing, de-breathing, and cleaning up your vocal tracks with Revoice Pro.